Instead of paying almost four bucks for gas, how would you like to run your car on salt water? Now, it may sound crazy, but wait until you see what a local inventor has come up with that could change the world. And as Channel 3's Michael Mara shows us, that's not all he's trying to do. Retired TV station owner and broadcast engineer John Kansas was not looking for an answer to the energy crisis. He was looking for a way to cure cancer. Four years ago, inspiration struck in the middle of the night. Why not use radio waves to kill the cancer cells? And the best thing that would work as antennas was my, you know, I could find at 3 o'clock in the morning, was my wife's pie pants. His wife, Marianne, heard the noise and found her husband inventing a radio frequency generator using her pie pans. I got up immediately and thought he'd lost it. Here are the basics of John's idea. Radio waves will heat certain metals like gold. Tiny bits of that metal are injected into a cancer patient. Those nanoparticles are attracted to the abnormalities of the cancer cell and ignore the healthy cells. The patient is then exposed to radio waves and only the bad cells heat up and die. Killing cancer cells is amazing, but John had also stumbled on yet another amazing breakthrough. You have enough in there? His machine could actually burn salt water. John Kansas discovered that his radio frequency generator could release the oxygen and hydrogen from salt water and create an incredibly intense flame. Just like that. If that was inside a car cylinder, you could see the amount of fire that would be in the cylinder. I can put my hand in here. Put your hand into the beam, nothing happens. Put in a fluorescent bulb and it lights up immediately. At the APV Company Laboratory in Akron, top engineers have checked out John's amazing invention and they were amazed. And we saw it go up to 1500 degrees centigrade, the temperature, and it, it's, it's incredible. This simple Stirling engine is running with the heat generated by the flames coming off that test tube. The fuel, nothing more than salt water. Well, that could be a steam engine, uh, a steam turbine. Could be a car engine if you wanted it to be. That's the true American innovator. Someone that is not looking for something, he just finds it. This is uh, the most abundant uh, element uh, in the world, water. And salt water is everywhere. Uh, and to see it burn uh, actually gives me chills. So imagine the possibilities. Salt water as the ultimate clean fuel. A happy byproduct of one man searching for a cure for cancer. In Erie, Pennsylvania, Michael Mera, Channel 3 News. That is amazing. We want it now. <laughs> Inventor John Kansas says that if some big company wants to buy up his salt water fuel invention, that's okay. He wants to use all the money to finish his quest to find a cure for cancer. Now, wouldn't it be something if we could power our cars, our boats, even our houses with salt water? That would make a darn good story, don't you think? Well, I've come out to Florida's west coast to see if it could be a reality. When I visited John Kansas earlier this year, I wanted to talk about his work trying to find a cure for cancer. But before we got down to business, he wanted to show me something else that his machine can do. I scooped up some salt water from the canal behind his home and brought it into his garage, where his radio frequency machine sits. So I'm just going to take this water. How, how much do you want me to pour in? All the way up. All the way up to the top. Okay. He grabbed a paper towel and put it in the test tube to act like a candle wick. So all that's in this test tube right now is the salt water I just took from your backyard right. and a paper towel. Paper towel. He put the test tube in the machine, then turned it on. You got it? Pretty neat, huh? The paper towel amazingly didn't burn. Kansas says in these experiments the flame reaches a temperature around 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. You see the bubbles boiling at, at the top of the water as it comes down. He performed the same experiment two more times without the paper towel to show that the salt water can burn without anything else in the test tube. The white there, see the steam coming out? Kansas has shown the experiment to a handful of scientists around the country who claim they're baffled at watching salt water ignite. A chemist told Kansas that the energy released is in fact hydrogen, that the heat breaks down the hydrogen-oxygen bond in the water. You could then take plain salt water out of the sea and put it in containers and produce a violent flame that could heat generators that, make, that do make electricity or, or provide other uh, forms of energy. May 16, 2007. Engineers working with Kansas in Erie, Pennsylvania are trying to harness the energy. They have built an engine that when placed on top of the flame chugged along for two minutes. But Kansas admits all this excitement was a stroke of luck. Someone who witnessed his work on the cancer front asked him if perhaps the machine could be used for desalinization. 
This was just an experiment to try to see whether I could heat salt water. Instead of getting heat, I got fire. So could this become an alternative source to creating power? If I would be bold enough, I would probably guess that uh, you can power an automobile with this eventually. John Kansas may have found a possible cure for cancer, and now he may have found a way to solve the world's energy problems as well. WSCE News Launch reporter Kelly Curran is live in the newsroom with details. As if finding a possible cure for cancer isn't enough, John Kansas and his associate Charlie Brokowski have found a way to create energy by burning salt water with the same radio wave machine they are using to kill cancer cells. Kansas and Rutkowski were testing their external radio wave generator to see if it could desalinate salt water, and they ended up being able to burn it. On our way to try to do desalinization, uh, we came up with something that burns, and it looks in this case that salt water perhaps could be used as a fuel uh, to replace uh, the carbon footsteps that uh, we've been using all these years, i.e. fossil fuels. The radio waves excite the salt water, causing it to burn and creating the perfect energy source. Using salt water, or we, as you saw, we used man-made salt water, just took regular tap water, added salt to it, and got it to burn. So pretty much if you have water and salt, pretty the uh, biggest resources on this whole planet, I mean, unbelievable. The potential uses are limitless. Fuel for cars, creating electricity, heating homes, and all with a resource that's unlimited and renewable. Kansas plans to continue his research and hopes that one day his invention will cure cancer and create energy from salt water efficiently. If, if it helps humanity, it helps uh, uh, people out, and it helps the city and the county out in more jobs for this city, then I feel like I've done my part. Now the question is, what will Kansas do next? Reporting live in the newsroom, Kelly Curran, WSCE News. He already may be on the path to finding a treatment for cancer. Now Erie inventor John Kansas could have discovered a way to produce alternative fuels. This afternoon, Kansas demonstrated how he was able to convert salt water to fuel. As Kim Thomas explains, this theory could someday impact the entire world. The external RF generator was invented to find a treatment for cancer. Now, after experimenting with the desalinization process, John Kansas has potentially found an alternative fuel, salt water. You may have to see it to believe it. When I actually saw the first flame uh, down there, I just shook my head in disbelief. First, Kansas showed how plain tap water wouldn't create a flame. Then, Morton salt was added, heated up, and ignition. Kansas can add salt to tap water or use salt water from the Gulf of Mexico or any other body of water. They proved it can even work like a spark plug, creating heat in a chamber by using a paper towel as a whip. Watch as this engine runs off of the heat. Charlie Rutkowski is working alongside Kansas to further develop this theory. It's just a, a, it's exciting and amazing. I mean, just to see it taking, you know, salt water, which was you know, never known to burn, and all of a sudden see a flame from it, it's just unbelievable. Salt water could someday be used as a low-cost alternative fuel, using wind and salt and water as its only materials. If this works the way we think it could, uh, probably the biggest amount uh, of going towards the gallon of gas would be the amount of taxes that the federal government has on it. Kansas says he feels the same way about this latest discovery as he does about his theory for treating cancer. If it helps humanity, it helps uh, uh, people out, and it helps the city and the county out in more jobs for this city, then I feel like I've done my part. Kim Thomas, Action News 24. John Kansas says they're now working night and day trying to make the process more efficient and also hoping for a grant from the government appropriate.